Hey creative friends, welcome to my channel and this video is my contribution to the Pumpkin Palooza collaboration that is so much fun. And before I forget, I want to let you know that down in the description box are the names and links to all the channels that are doing a pumpkin based recipe for this super fun collaboration. And thank you Prepper Potpourri for putting this together. You are awesome because this is a fun collaboration to do. I love collaborations because they force me to make things I normally wouldn't make, to think outside the box, to look up new recipes, and you know, stuff like that. So this one I thought about, well, I'll do some pumpkin muffins or something like that. And then I thought I wanted to look around online. And I found this recipe that I want to try, and it's on, I'll put a link. It's to the uh, website runningonrealfood.com. And this is Healthy Pumpkin Oat Cookies. Now, I read through the directions, super simple. But it also says these really don't turn out like a cookie. They kind of turn out like a cookie muffin, which is more of not like a cookie sweet, but more like a snack. So I think this would be great because I love oatmeal. I love pumpkin. I love all the things that are in this. And I also think these would be great because they use alternative types of sugar. It has some maple sugar. You can use maple syrup. And I'm going to use a little bit of maple syrup, but you can also use coconut sugar uh, or, or agave, things like that. So I want to try to cut back on sugars and eat more healthy sugars. So we're going to try this, but I am adding in some chips, of course, you know, because I read through the recipe and on the back it has other add-ins that you can do. It's like coconut, walnuts, pecans, that kind of stuff. Um, so... I'm going to add a little bit in here, but my point of making these is just to have, like, where you could grab two of these and eat them in the car on the way somewhere, like, first thing in the morning, like, tomorrow morning, I have to leave the house early, so these will be perfect. Take a couple of these and a cup of coffee, good to go. So, the Healthy Pumpkin Oat Cookies, um, they have two and a cup, half cups of rolled oats, which I have here, two and a half cups. One cup of pumpkin puree, which I have here. And if you're going to buy uh, pumpkin puree, make sure that you don't get pumpkin pie filling for this recipe because this pumpkin puree is just pumpkin. And if you think you're going to can your own pumpkin puree, don't do that. You can can pumpkin in chunks and then puree it after you open the jar. It's too thick. It's too, it's too much of a density issue to make it a safe thing to can. Uh, so you also, three, two to three tablespoons of maple syrup. I have that agave syrup or coconut sugar and I have coconut sugar that I'm, I'm trying I'm incorporating it in a lot of things it's really good so what I'm going to do I'll probably cook like one and a half of each and then one to two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice or cinnamon if you don't have it but I've got that and then half a cup of dairy-free chocolate chips I didn't have any chocolate chips and I didn't want to have to go to the store just for that but I do have cinnamon chips and they are awesome and I think they would be super good in this so basically I've got my oven preheated at 350 degrees. I've got a cookie sheet lined with parchment paper over here. And I've got my muffin cutter, or my biscuit cutter, because it says that these won't spread out like a cookie. So you're going to divide them into 12 and then make them whatever shape you want. And they're going to kind of stay in that shape. So I'm going to see if they'll fit in this cookie cutter, or this uh, biscuit cutter. Um, and then I'll just make kind of like round biscuits, I guess you'd say. All right, so mix all the ingredients in a bowl to form a thick dough. So let's just do that. There's my two and a half cups of rolled oats. And I'm going to go ahead and put in my pumpkin. Oh, and I did get my little chopper out and chop some pecans because I think they would just add nice, uh, be a nice addition to this. You guys know when I find a recipe, I think of all the things I can do to it. Kind of change it around. Two to three tablespoons of maple syrup. So I'm going to get my two tablespoons. Oh, there's one and a half. Perfect. Because I'm going to do like one and a half. And it says you can adjust the sweetness to whatever you want. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start with one and a half tablespoons. Because the author of the recipe says he uses two, uh, three tablespoons of maple syrup. But I want to try to use more of my coconut sugar. And I love this. You know, this is not made from, it even says on here, uh, it's organic coconut sugar. And it is not made from the actual coconut coconut. It's made from, there's, it's harvested from the, the coconut. It's from the sap of the palm flower. Since it comes from the flower, it does not taste like coconuts. Awesome. Uh, you basically substitute one, one cup for one cup of sugar. So that would be one and a half tablespoons. 
I like it. I actually really like it on fruit, on bananas, or in my oatmeal. I, I've been, I've started to eat a lot of that. So there's one and a half tablespoons of maple syrup. So I got kind of a 50-50 on that. And now I'm going to use, what else? Uh, one to two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. I don't think you can ever go wrong with this. Ooh, brand new. And so I'm going to do two because it's just going to make the pumpkin even better. All right, two teaspoons. There we are. Two teaspoons pumpkin pie spice. I love this time of year. Fall is my favorite. Well, that's not true because when spring comes around, I say that's my favorite. Uh, you know, winter is beautiful and summer is awesome. So I kind of like every single season. All right, there's two teaspoons of pumpkin pie spice. Smells so good. And then a half a cup of the uh, chips, chocolate chips or whatever you can use, uh, like carob, healthy things. And it says it's optional but recommended. So you know I'm going to go for this. Hang on. I'm going to put these cinnamon chips in there because they're just going to be perfect, I think. It got kind of warm on the counter here. Got my canner going, so a lot of heat in here. All right, there's those. And I buy these things when they're on sale, and I freeze them. So I have them. This is the time of year to get them when everything's on sale. Take them home and freeze them, and you'll have them all year long. All right, now I'm going to mix this up. It says until it's a thick dough, and then, then we're going to divide it into 12. I might make it. It depends on how big they are. Maybe I want to. Oh, I want to put my nuts in there. Whoop. There's my pecans. Okay. Kind of a super easy recipe now. We're just going to mix this up until it becomes kind of like a thick dough. And then you're going to cook it at 350. It says for 10 minutes. But I'm going to keep an eye and make sure. And then it says that it's not a cookie consistency. It's almost like a denser muffin. And I'm okay with that. It might be just right. And of course, there's no raw egg or anything right now, so you could taste it for sweetness and see if you wanted to add anything else in. But I'm okay with bland oatmeal. It says on there that some people you might find these to be bland because, you know, they're not a cookie. So don't think you're going to be having cookies. I'm really looking at them as kind of a breakfast on the go substitute. I eat oatmeal, like I love oatmeal, so this is going to be perfect. Okay, it's kind of kind of coming up here. Okay, look at that. So see how it's kind of, I can make it into like little balls maybe. I want to scoop it, kind of divide it into 12 even, even pieces. I just want to make sure, I hope it doesn't kind of fall apart when it's cooking. But if so, we're just going to call it granola. <laughs> and I'll just keep, put it in little snack bags. Either way, I think the flavors are going to be great together. Okay. Now, let me kind of divide it into three and then 12 little balls maybe. Okay. Like half of that. We're going to try that. Uh, might be, let me bring this over and see if you can see, let me see, oh yeah, that might work just right. So all I did was kind of in there, I kind of made my spoon go down there and made like 12 different sections. Oh, this is going to be just perfect. I remember when we lived in England, my mom used to get these things called digestive biscuits, and I've always wanted to know how to make them. They were just really hard, and they were actually good. If you had an upset stomach or something, they just kind of, I think they had a lot of fiber and things in them. That's why they helped your digestion. All right, so there's one that I've pressed into my biscuit cutter. Got to get that little chip in there. There, so I'm going to show you that. See there? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of the 12 of them, and I'll bring you back, and we'll take a look at them right before they go in the oven. All right, I've got these done. And actually, that little uh, biscuit cutter was perfect. It made perfect 12 little cookies. Now it says to put them in the oven for 10 minutes. 
I'm going to check them in 10 minutes and make sure that they're done, like that they're, you know, kind of solidified. I feel like they will be, but we'll check it out. And then I think these are going to be awesome. So we'll come back as soon as these have gone in the oven at 350 on parchment paper for 10 minutes. So these healthy pumpkin oat cookies are done. I took them out. Actually, what I did was at 10 minutes I went in and I felt like they would fall apart too easily. So I turned them over and I let them go for another like five minutes and that kind of seemed to work pretty well. So don't they look good? Okay, I'm gonna test one. So see, because I did that, they're still soft, but they were more firm. If I hadn't have done that flipping over and cooking them the extra few minutes, I think they would have just kind of crumbled apart. So let me try, try one. Oh, they're actually pretty good. They're um, sweet enough, like for in the morning. It's not like a super sweet cookie. And they're really the consistency of a muffin, like an oat bran muffin. And you can taste the little, the little cinnamon pieces. Now, if I had put chocolate, it would just been chocolatey, but they actually are really good. So I think that um, they'd be great to have two of them in the morning with coffee or something. And I think I'm going to take some tomorrow when I go to the training because I have to leave the house early. And they'll last, it says, you can put them in the fridge for like six days, up to a week. Um, room temperature for three days in the fridge up to a week or freeze up to three months. But I think if you were just to have a couple of these every morning, a week would be fine. So I like them. I hope you guys give them a try. There will be a link to the recipe at runningonrealfood.com. And I hope you guys give it a try because I think they're a great idea. So as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video.